Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Hillforth series. In today's video, we're going to be pushing to 50 population and getting ready for the massive terraforming project. Right now, we just need to make sure we have a pretty good food supply. We're going to expand to tier 2. We just need to build out a little bit more housing and get that one farm up. There is a bit of stone in the way, so we're going to have to mine all of this out before we can build this farm. But that's great because we'll have a good storage. And we're just about to get our graveyard up. Ooh, got a graveyard. Enough for 36 people. Hopefully we don't lose that many, but you never know. I have to build a few more of those. The maximum height advantage currently is plus 18. So there is a point where height advantage doesn't convey it as much gain so this is actually like way overkill so we don't need this whole height we could actually get it down to about half so about half the height from this is going to be spread out throughout the entire design and again to re-articulate what i said in the last let's play we're going to probably turn this area into like a little bit of a walkway and a industrial area now most likely i will have my entry point coming down this way into a bunch of farmland and work camps and this really is a great seed we have pretty much everything available to us. The big one that we need though right now is clay, and I do believe there is clay in substantial quantities pretty close to us. All right, so I'm gonna take my hunter, who I have killing deer and stuff down here, and I'm gonna go do a little bit of exploring while we wait for the houses and people to come. We have a sawmill coming up here pretty soon, so that will allow us to get the market and to upgrade to tier two. We got, oh wow, we got a lot of deer down here. I gotta move, move my guy over here. Oh shit. Just charged him into a freaking wolf did. Okay, well, I did not realize there were a bunch of wolves there. And that was, that was bad. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Um, the worst part is, is that people, yeah, okay, he died. The worst part is if they don't die, people will come and try to save them, and then they'll die. I've had this problem, like, so many times in the game where uh, people just keep trying to save someone and, and everybody dies because of it. Alright, we have a bear in the town, and I don't want any heroes. So I'm gonna retreat my warrior back and use the tower to kill. Now I can feasibly use my people. There we go. Killed the bear. That was, uh, that was a scary situation there. But we're doing pretty good, except for, I mean, besides sacrificing that one guy to the wolf gods down there. Yeah, herbs. I'm really, really excited about having herbs, finally, in a playthrough. Because it means I can make soap, which is a great luxury item. We got a pretty sizable amount of laborers, and mostly I think everybody's focused on the stone right now. Alright. I do kind of want to get a road down here, though. I know that there will be activity right here. We're going to flatten this area right here, a lot of time. I would like to get a road going down in this area to give them uh, the speed up their speed up their movement and also reduce the wear on shoes. If you roads reduce the wear on shoes, if you find your village is going through a bunch of shoes, it's because you don't have adequate road systems. No. That's just a, an observation that we've had is we've no, um, a lot of us who've been playing have noticed that um, when people are off-roading, they're more likely to break their legs and the shoes wear faster. So there is an advantage to having road systems for that reason. Okay. So, two, three, one, two, three. All right. So naturally, I need to pick a center, and that's where it becomes wonky because it's never going to be proportioned. I'm gonna pick this as my center. We're gonna have one road down. And then for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I don't do large swaths. You wanna do it in strips because it terraforms the middle for free. Basically, substantially cuts down the labor and how much time it takes and gets you a really clean terraforming. So, yeah, do it in strips. I will do it in war large swaths when, like, I'm trying to get, like, one area in particular. But for massive terraforming projects, I do it like this. I'm going to do each of these three times, and that should get me a pretty straight ramp. Work, work, work. But this is why you need a bunch of people.
I will eventually be terraforming this all out too, so um Oh yeah, it's gonna take a while to get this ramp right. It always does. Let them finish these projects first. Get wolves. Should probably actually get this part of the design correct first, but it is going to take me an enormous amount of terraforming to to bring all of this out forward. Fourteen tiles. This is actually about where I'm going to be pulling this build out to. So, no time like the present, I suppose. So, I'm going to start the very arduous task of going one tile at a time and bumping this out to about round here. And then from there, I'll do my ramp. Got the sawmill up finally. All right, so you see, I'm just going one tile at a time. This is most likely going to take me hours to do, and I'm going to just show you the, the kind of journey that. So, I want. You want to make sure you're taking the highest point and increasing the lowest point. Occasionally you want to pull from the back areas where the height's better. Looks like we don't have any meat to smoke right now, but we are pulling in still a good amount of food. Our next goal. The next goal is to get this market up. I think this would be a good spot, so I'm going to move this house. I'll get this all eventually organized, but right now I'm more focused on terraforming. I'm not really worried about raiders or anything like that because they're relatively squishy when you keep your population like around 50. Alright, get the market up. We're two people away from getting to the next tier of our journey. Getting to tier two. We just need the market and a bunch of boards now. Okay. I'm just going to continuously terraform out. Right now I'm focused on getting the entryway done so that I don't have to screw it up later. I figure if I can get the entryway all out in a in position, we'll be in good shape. But 
What's crazy is look, this 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 build is going to look way different than it does now when it's fully done. It's going to be a lot, a little bit lower, but it's also going to be pretty, pretty big in size. It's going to be about this wide, I think, and this wide over here. I'm going to go back about this far, and it's going to come out this far. So it's going to be this perfectly flat little city. I probably will let this area go flat. Um, I'm expecting that my height's going to be right around here, actually, when the design is fully done. That all the top of this will be flattened out and around. So, while I could drag more height into it, I think it might be not worth the time investment that necessary. It'd take me about an hour to do this right. But the way that terraforming works is it takes the averages of the cells that you're highlighting... So if you go one tile at a time like this, you'll get the least amount of loss. So it's really wise to do that. But like realistically speaking, I should always be, I should always be pulling in the, the height areas. But it would just take too long to do that, and I don't think I'm going to need to. I think I'm still going to be able to get plus 18, or it matters at least I'll be able to get plus 18. And where it matters is right here. We're being raided. We've got three raiders who most likely will be taken out by the hunters. The hunters are badass, but we'll, we'll get everybody inside. Yeah, we killed all of them. That was not even a challenge. It becomes a challenge, but early stage, not really. Village was raided. Three of three dead. Oh, someone got rabies after being attacked by a freaking predator, I think. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's not good. Once we get this uh, crop field up, we'll probably get a tower down there to protect everybody here from wolves. Oh, and we got waste piling up, so... We're going to get our first compost yard up. Yay! Compost! Trying to put it in a place where it's not going to piss everybody off. Okay. Alright, I gotta come over here and flatten a couple of areas so I can place the compost. And actually, an easy way to do this is to pick the lowest cell and then go scroll all the way back. That way you don't have to figure out which is the um, optimal way. It's a pretty lazy way of terraforming for me. You can see right there, like it brought up all that there, and it's slowly leveling this down. Basically, gonna be like turning this mountain basically into a pancake, a really high pancake. Though there's only gonna be one way into this entire base. It's gonna be right here. Now we get the compost dude down, hopefully. Nope, need a little bit more terraforming over here. But 
You may be tempted to take a shortcut, and I guarantee you there is none. You really do want to do it one tile at a time. Other, I tested this, and I spent hours longer trying to do larger swaths. Um, doing it one tile at a time not only retains the integrity of the build. The freaking wolves, man. I gotta get tower out here. Anyway, sorry. It keeps the integrity of your terraforming a lot better too, and it's much faster. It'll save you'll save a lot of time. I know it seems slower, but the it trust me, it's it's the fastest way. Because once you do it, you're done. But you do it right, and you're done. Another villagers died. Oh my god, man! The wolves. I could have just. Could have just upgraded to tier two. I'm not really in a rush to upgrade to tier two, to be honest. Um, I do have the money to get a tower down there, though. Get that tower up. Sorry, guys. I didn't protect you. All right, we're gonna put the tower there, and we're gonna wall. We're gonna wall that tower. Shit, Got bears. Right, make sure all your people are doing it. Now, there's a lot of avenues you can focus on in this part of the game. Trade, building up, industry, all that. I am not interested in any of that. The only thing I want is food and people because I need an enormous amount of people to be terraforming. The more the more people I have, the faster this, this whole project is going to be for me. All right, it's getting... Uh, I'm going to come back a little bit because it's starting to get really low over here, so... But you can see how this takes quite a bit of time. Typically a good rule of thumb is to terraform it three times, and that usually gets it level. We got lots of meat though, this is great. If we get that tower up, I'll be feeling a little bit safer. Alright, and I think finally now we can get the stupid compost yard up. Yay! Compost! And it looks like the next thing we need to get up right now is a Fletcher. Arrows run out a lot faster than they used to. I'm gonna pr actually prioritize that building. Because it looks like we are... Yep, looks like we're out of arrows. We ran out of arrows. I got so, I got so, so focused on uh, terraforming. But that's fine because we have swords but yes we'll we'll get that dude up i'll get him pumping that we are going to put a cap on all of this we're going to say 600 arrows for now and cap this at around 20 bows should be sufficient i'm actually going to get two workers in here because we need to get those arrows asap Our towers aren't going to work nothing we have will work until we do that now we're Couple boards shy, and we lost a person to a wolf. Okay, cool. We're getting close to tier two, however. All right, we got the waste collector. All right, we're we're in business now. Could have sworn this map had clay. All right, we just hit year six. I'm just going to continue one tile at a time. But you can see how much progress I've made. It's, I mean, this is actually a pretty sizable amount of progress to have this much of an area terraformed out in that shorter period of time.
15, 13. Right here ish is about where I'm going to need to uh, pull this road out. So. I'm actually going to mark it with a fence, fence post so I know where I'm trying to terraform to. It kind of gives me a psychological encouragement to keep going. Good progress. These damn bears, man. My god. Alright. Everybody inside. The freaking bears here. Bears on the hardest difficulty are one of the earliest nuisance and killers of people outside of you know, massive wolf dens. But uh, they get scared pretty easy. So if you hit them a couple times, they do tend to run away. See, he ran right by that peasant. He didn't even try to fight. Um, sometimes, though, they, they, they're willing to die. So, bears are a mysterious creature. Alright, we're getting good, good terraforming done here, boys. You don't need to make these roads and stuff. I just, I like doing it because it just kind of gives me a visual cue. It's just, doesn't do anything for you though. So I might be tempted to kind of pull back on the higher areas, but they're not too high and most likely I'm going to be, yeah, I'll do a little bit, but not a lot. Alright, and upgrade to tier 2, and we're going to sit at tier 2 probably for quite some time. I'm mainly interested in just getting about a population of 60 people, and then sitting on that as I terraform. There we go, getting the brain a little bit higher. A little bit more terraforming. I'm actually probably not going to do the work camp because I'm not expanding. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily, hmm. Now I'll do a work camp. And I'm going to do, Alright, I'm going to move the firewood splitter over here, and I'm going to put a trade post right here. And I'm also going to get up a work camp and a wag- I have to get the wagon up first. But I do slowly want to start stockpiling a ton of wood while I'm doing all this, but I'll just have two people cutting wood from now on and everybody else focus on terraforming. That is the nice thing about woodcutters, is you can really hone in what people are doing. Uh, it also is more efficient because they have a drop-off point instead of having to bring it all the way back up the mountain. Now I'll have a caravan that can bring it all the way back up the mountain. Nice, you go to storage. Click on the wagon shop. Wagon shop down. Entities. 
Get the trade post up. Move the storage unit over one. I'm gonna move the smokehouse over next to that. Smokehouses actually have higher efficiency when they're stored near where the firewood is stored. The meat is is they're able to carry meat in more abundance than they are firewood. I've noticed pretty substantial increases in efficiency having smokehouses near the storage. Okay. And I'm building my trade post currently right next to next to uh the town center because it just fits better. Most likely I'll actually alter the, the design that you see in the thumbnail too. I'll probably put I'll probably put these the trade center where, where two of the large gardens are. And I'll keep this uh this close. That was a school. Alright. Put the trading post down. Billy me. Alright, we need to terraform this area. Once the wagon shops up, I'll get the work camp down here. Ooh, our farm's ready. All right. So we have the huge advantage of having enough food to not die. So we're going to completely clear this crop. All weeds, rockiness, and slowly build up the fertility. The environmental fertility factor here is 83%, is absurdly high so this thing is actually um it's gonna get fertility up pretty quickly because of that I actually think I'm going to modify something in my design to make this easy. Um, mainly because of where my town center was placed. I think I'm going to move the town center up in the design. That way I don't have to back out as much. And that would actually mean that I'm done with the entrance, too. So I just kind of realized that the uh, way that this is... You kind of sometimes have to tweak your designs. Like, I would have liked to have had the town center centralized, but you know, it being at the head of the defensive design is actually even cooler. <laughs> so this is actually a better design. Yeah, and that gives me a huge swath to put the trade center behind it and everything. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So this is this is it right here. This is actually is the front of the base design, and now I can pull back the rest of the design. And the reason I want to do that too is because I actually want this area over here to be a bit far away from the housing. Because it's gonna have it's gonna have the the dirty stuff. It's all gonna be here. All the dirty industrial stuff will be here. Man, yeah, this de this design just got way better with that that little tweak. So perfect. So let's uh let's get the the beginning. All right, I have the ability to do walls now. So we're gonna get beginning area here. Hmm, I actually have a better design now. Alright, I gotta go back to my design draw board actually because I just came up with a way better idea. Actually, what we're gonna do here is have a wall here and then a barracks right here. 
and that is going to, and there's going to be four towers split split between this area and uh one tower here one tower here one tower here one tower here and that's going to be our entryway so we still do need a bit of length on this area um but this is the only part that's going to be bumped out like this so this is great Making great progress. Alright, we got the uh, wagon shop up. So I can now get the work camp up. I'm going to get right next to this. Uh, I'm going to get done right. I'm going to be pulling this down. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get it right here. We'll need to actually pull these sides out too. So we're gonna get those pulled out. And I'm gonna pull in some pull in some more height from the back end. You can see this is where the barracks is going to go at the entryway of all this. So you're going to have the barracks, you're going to have this main tower uh, shooting down on anything coming up here. All right, let's get this area flat. All right, got our first tower down there, that's great.
And for this, I'm actually going to do a flatten. For the really large tiles, it's really hard to do this strip way. So for this, I do actually. That's, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes it is necessary to do it, but only when you're trying to place a building down. And I'm going to disable the construction on this barracks. I just want to get it in place. Uh, it just helps me with my overall design. We got that in place. Now we can get the barracks in its spot. Now this design calls for four tiles on the side. We're gonna do this side first since it has the most height when we're terraforming out the uh, market and then we'll do this side last. Maybe I should do this side first and pull from here. Hmm. We're gonna do this side first since it's the lowest part so that we can pull from the high side over here. This side over here ha definitely has enough clearance to not need as much but this side over here while it has similar clearance, I think I just want to play it safe by doing that, that side first.
All right, so the length is pretty good, actually. I need 31 tiles. I have... one right here so I only have to bring this out actually a little bit the rest of it's just going sideways from this point this is actually gonna be really easy terraforming it's gonna be really clean um, everything should go according to plan with this I think feeling pretty good We got a raid coming in. We got three three raiders. Woo! That's the, the glory of having a low population. <laughs> this one raider is just like running up this hill. It's kind of funny. He's going to die as soon as he gets to the top. That's got to be pretty depressing. Oh, we got the hunter coming in. Gotta admire his bravery, though. Definitely not gonna make it. You're going bye-bye. Boom. Into the road. Alright. I don't know where the other raiders are. <laughs> I think they just let that guy kind of Leroy it. <laughs> Almost got the entryway done. Super happy about that. This is a pain in the ass. Alright, a little bit more. Getting there. This is where the roads connect, which is why I'm getting this out. But then down the middle, it's just going to be one little strip. All right, new plan. We're going to put six towers right here. <laughs> this is it. This is as far as it needs to go. Long ways, at least. Two more tiles out, and then we start. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I just have a much better idea now. Well, that's not true, actually. I need to bump this out a little bit, so that's fine. Bring in... Yeah, we're going to have to bring in height, because we're losing a lot more than I thought we would. So we do need to bring in height. All the areas around. Can move. All right. We're close, though. We're going to line this area with towers, is what we're going to do. Thank you all for watching. I'll have episode 3 out very, very soon. Thank you.